This is going to be a short video on how to hollow a component in SOLIDWORKS. So let's get to the point. Hollowing a component in SOLIDWORKS is not that complicated. It has actually a dedicated tool for it and it's called Shell. And you can find Shell on your Features tab. So all you have to do if you want to go and uh, do it basically is to set a wall thickness for your shell which currently is set as 10 on default that's fine and you select the surfaces on your component that you want to be opened anything else will remain there what you select will be open one click and you see what I mean okay so ignore this I will get to this in a second this is due to the number that I have selected here it's a little bit too big probably let's just go to 8 and then that would go away that's just some miscalculation on SOLIDWORKS part so the wall thickness is set to 8 millimeters it means this wall is 8 this wall is 8 this bottom ceiling or floor is also 8 millimeter in thickness and in order to show you I'm gonna quickly jump to the cross-sectional view and as you can see here everything else here is 8 on this part where 8 is no longer an option because you don't have 8 from this side and 8 from this side there will be no hollowing taking place so hollowing will be taking place where it makes sense based on what you select let's just uh, do a different experience go change that feature and reduce the number down to 1 now this time if I go back and show you the cross-sectional view you see that the hollowing happened also here because 1 makes sense this part of the component is thick enough to cover one millimeter from each side therefore hollowing continues and covers the whole area also let me show you what happens around the holes as you can see they will have their own wall inside the hollowed component and then that all right this was the basic hollowing and we're not finished yet I'm gonna continue and further expand on this topic I just set it back to 8 and click OK. All right. I told you whatever you select will be opened. So let's just change the example. And I'm going to edit this feature. I have only selected one surface here. And this time I'm going to select the surface on the back. And this is going to be the result that I get. The two selected surfaces will open up. Everything else stay there with the wall thickness that I have defined. One more example let's just zoom in and select this one and this one and this one maybe it doesn't work maybe it does it worked but it created a very weird and odd looking geometry that I was not planning to make so this is not the right type of selection it depends on what I select okay let's just delete that all right that was the basic hollowing and there is another option that you can add and make it a little bit more advanced let me show you if I have this component and I want to hollow it I just say with the wall thickness of one on this side but I want the distance or the thickness on the bottom of the component to be more than one because it should have a function and one is too thin so in that case I'll select this area which belongs to the multi thickness setting and set it to three and select this area then I click OK so let's see what we have made and cross section all right as you can see the wall thickness on the left is one on the right is one and from the bottom is three because we want it to have a thicker bottom okay this is a good example when you want to create a pan all right imagine we have this geometry and it's gonna be a pan that we want to or walk we want to create a walk and we go to shell we want to have a wall thickness of two millimeter on the side but from the bottom since it's going to take all the heat it's going to be 10 so we click ok and this is the result we get the bottom of the pan is thicker the wall is thinner this was the multi thickness and as you notice what you select on this area which is highlighted on default in magenta does not open the surface only your primary selection or selections will open those surfaces but 
the multi thickness is only about the thickness and it does not open your model that was uh, multi thickness shelling or hollowing now there is a bonus tip as i promised in the beginning of the video wait i did not promise it all right then hit the like button if you like this bonus and if you have been watching to this point you're gonna love this bonus tip what happens if you have a sphere and if you want to hollow it this is a completely solid sphere and hollowing a sphere if i select it and set it to any dimension does not work in solidworks so how do we do that hollowing a sphere in solidworks is really easy all you have to do is to define the thickness and you shouldn't select anything that's right you don't need any input just click ok and your sphere is automatically hollowed if this tip was new to you and you didn't know and you just learned something new go ahead and smash that like button okay as i promised it was a short video i just noticed the demand on this topic is really high on youtube so i decided to create this short video and if this is something good let me know in the comment section so i'll create some short tips to solve your problem so you can move on to the next level quickly all right guys stay tuned i'll see you soon